Mark here with the Exiles. It's a really busy class tonight, but we're going to try and get through uh, the first seven plays of Fiori's uh, First Master of Dagger. Okay, so we're going to start with uh, the, the Master, First Master, okay, and it works like this. So as the dagger arm extends to attack, I come forward like this. Okay, finger up, thumb down. I do it basically posse longa, so it's a skeletal thing, okay? What I'm not doing is I'm not grabbing it, I'm not preempting, okay? Because I want to be confident enough that that's a committed enough strike for me to do a big cover. Also, just in context, okay? He's trying to kill me with this, which means, not that I'm going to do it, which means he's going to be bosh, he's going to be coming in trying to potentially drive for armour and protection and padding, etc. He's going to be in anger, okay? So with this, I have to be confident <laughs> enough to make this master, to make this cover. So it comes up and I come forward like this, and it's skeletal strength. It's not a bare arm because that's just going to collapse. Okay, skeletal strength, all right? With my front foot, I make a little crease. I do this regardless of what he does. So if he's making a linear step straight into me, I still do my increase. If he's making a dagger attack with a particularly wide stance, I still do my increase, okay, which is why potentially the image shows my left foot in front of his right, okay, because my action doesn't change, okay, it's still skeletal strength, all right? So that's the master, okay, we call that the first play. The first technique is like this. So the strike comes in, nice and easy. I come up, okay? I start to control the arm. This is really super important because I want to keep him there, okay? I don't want him to recover and keep coming forward with several attacks, etc. This is my first action. You can add in the thumb, but I've got dodgy hands, so that sometimes doesn't happen for me quite so well. With the rear arm, this comes up. Two reasons. One is a visual thing for him. He starts thinking as much about this as he does about this, so it's a visual thing. Plus I'm gonna use it. So with the first technique, what I'm doing, because I've come offline, I've got really good strength from here, is I give a turn of the hand. And Fiori talks about losing your dagger. As I do that turn, you can add in this hammer fist, this hammer strike, okay? Now we're trying to be gentle, but in reality, that, that dagger will probably come out, okay? So that's the first play that we do, okay? The first technique for second play. So it comes in, I'm up and covered. Visual thing, I'm making this little triangle here which gives me the leverage to give it a turn, okay? That's how we do the first technique. Do you know to encounter? Yeah. Okay, so next play is a counter to this. Okay, so now I'm the attacking guy. In a jump, nice, solid, good defense. Jason's come offline. Perfect. Okay, what I do from here, and this is really important because a lot of people don't do this correctly, is I give a turn of the hand. Because he's starting to grab a hold and control this arm, what I can't do is this, okay? Because it's giving away any bit of advantage that I've got. Okay, if you come nice and close with that, I'm not doing a turn like this. What I'm doing is doing a turn like this, because no matter how strong his grip is, he is not gonna keep hold of that, okay? Then I place it to the chest, okay? So to go through that again, this is a counter. Nice, good skeletal strength. Even if he starts the technique, starts an action, I'm doing this. Then I'm putting it to the chest, exactly like I said. Next technique, Ligadura Metzana, okay? Happening in the middle. For this, it's about where I'm catching the dagger, okay? For example, if this is a big committed attack and I'm catching it right up here, you'll notice the arm is quite straight. From here, I'm not gonna try Ligadura Metzana, and I'll show you why. But from here, I'm doing different plays, different options. If I catch it a bit earlier, so if you reset and come through, if I catch it here, you'll notice something, 90 degrees or more or less there. The other thing, if you come behind my shoulder, Nick, because I've made an increase of my front foot, I've opened up space here. If I didn't come offline, his arm would be like that, which means I've got no opening to come through. Because I've come offline with my front foot, if you look down, because I've come offline, I've got, come back up again, I've got space, which means that my ligadura comes in and goes on. Okay, and that's how it works. Now, I can dislocate the arm, I can do nasty things, but the dagger is my priority, okay? So as I'm coming off and through, because I'm coming offline and dropping this in, 
Okay, I can do all the nasty things as I say, but this is always my priority. So if this starts to get messy or he starts to do the counter, this dagger has to be has to be my priority because this is the thing that's going to kill me. All right. <laughs> Next play, which is the counter to the ligadura. So I'm attacking. Jason's caught in nice and early. Starts to put the ligadura on. Okay, I don't want to let him get this far if I can't. It doesn't matter if he does because my counter is reaching over the top and giving a turn. And the important thing about this is I'm not using my upper body strength to do it. I'm using my feet, okay? By doing this, I have significantly more strength, okay? Because I've got two arms on it, I've got more strength anyway. But if I can make an extra advantage, then obviously I'm going to do that. So I come in, I feel this going on, and I'm here, okay? I give a turn which then completes the technique. So that's the counter to the ligadura. And that's fast too. We don't have masks on, so I'll do it without the dagger. But if the ligadura is going on, okay, it's, it's fast, yeah? Because I, I, you know, we're not, we're not, we're trying to hurt each other. And that's the key thing. Next one, uh, this is also like a ligadura, but it's on a type action, okay? Dagger arm comes up and I'm catching it like this, okay? Uh, this is done in two different ways within our school because of the two variations in the, in the multiple manuscripts, okay? So in the Getty, you'll see the thumb here on the elbow. In the Pisani Dossi, you'll see the fingers like this. So we don't, we are happy with either option because the mechanics of this work, work exactly the same. I've got a nice bend going on here. I come up, I do it the Getty way here, okay? And then what I do is I give it a turn and I pull it, okay? Again, this is the priority to me, okay? So I'm doing everything nice and away from my body. I'm giving this a turn and I'll put him to ground like this. And I can disarm him from here too. He's in a, a, a very unstable and weak position from there. Let me just show you something about context. People struggle with techniques like this because they're sparring or when a man will come up and this arm will disappear or whatever. So let me show you something about context, specifically with a play like this. I'm, I'm grabbing hold of this, okay? And we might tussle for this, for example. If Jason tries to recover this dagger, we're gonna tussle, we're gonna tussle. You have to bear this in mind, okay? This is why people can't apply dagger techniques. Strike comes in, I'll take a hold of it. We'll tussle, then that comes on, then I'll do my play. Because it's real, okay? He'll keep wanting to move. He's not going to stand there and just let me do it. So think context with all of this kind of stuff. Any other counter to this? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Next technique. Which way the point range there? Yeah. Next technique is a counter to the, uh, to the last one that I was just doing. So I'll do it slowly to start off with. Arm comes up. I'm reaching on however this comes to be. Jason grabs the point and just drags it through my forearm. A couple of things from here. Generally speaking, for me, because you don't know the success rate of this, when you're dragging it through, you generally pull it straight back into posture. Okay? Because he doesn't know if he's got any kind of contact there. He doesn't know if it's worked. So as well as getting the stab, he should also use his skeletal and muscular strength to pull it back to posture. Because if he hasn't hit my arm, He's still got the strength to recover the dagger back before I start to manipulate it. So that's really important. Again, it's about context. Okay. Next technique. Okay. So, dagger strike comes in. This time it doesn't matter if it's bent or straight or whatever. It doesn't matter anymore. What I'm doing is I'm going to be stepping forward with my right foot coming up against the head. Okay. Now, if we swap sides, this plane works like this. Okay. <laughs> Now, believe it or not, I didn't want it to go over, but it's all good. <laughs> so, in motion, catch it, this arm comes up and through the bosh. Okay? Close line, choke, manipulation of the body, whatever. Actually, you can get quite a good strike off of that. So, I won't do it for obvious reasons, but I've caught it. This action of stepping through bosh like this can be in itself a very effective action to do. The main thing with this is that I'm keeping it away from my body. So I'm not just grabbing it and stepping through like this, because it's a risk, yeah? You could put two arms on it, you could, whatever. So I'm keeping it well out of the way. So when I come through, you can see like this, just like the manuscript, it's well away from my body. Well away from where it's gonna be a danger. And that, again, is a fast action to do. We're moving, we're moving, I'll catch it, I see an opening, bosh, in I come, over the leg, over I go. Cool. <laughs> okay, 
Last technique. So Fury says this isn't done very often, and he talks about it being a beat, okay? This is a very situational thing, all right? So we have to be moving, we have to be fluid. What happens with this is if the dagger attack comes in, I do a beat like this, and I pass it out of my way. Okay, there's several options we do from here, but the one that we do in our level one curriculum is just to get used to coming forward and making a strike like this. Okay, it's the beat, just like with the one-handed and the two-handed sword. It's a beat. So if Jason sticks his arm out and just stops, because I'm coming off line, it's this action. Okay, dente de chingale almost. Up, through. Okay, but it's a situational thing. You're not going to stand there. You're not going to beat it from here. If that comes up halfway through the action, I'm not going to do it from here. It's not going to work, because this has got lots of power. This is what we're out. We're moving on the box. Yeah? Bang. That's how to think about this play. That's it for tonight. Thanks for watching.